So a good friend of ours has just moored up ahead and it's Will from the YouTube channel Narrowboat Will. So let's go and say a quick hello and uh, have a quick brew. Hello, hello Will, you're all right? He's got his undies hanging up. Yeah, don't look at the undies, some have got holes in them. <laughs> Leave balls on out. <laughs> Does he not like the mud? Uh, no, he's walked too far. He walked too far that way, bless him. He's struggling, so give him a lift back. Aww. So it's a beautiful day and we're ready to go. We're going up the Bosley flight. I helped Will up here the other day. We had such a laugh. And uh, now it's my turn. And I've got Jackie with me today. And it's gonna be the last time Jackie's gonna be here for quite a while because she starts back at work on Monday. So uh, yeah, and I'm too far away from where she's going to be, so Jack is not going to be around now. She says she's going to visit. It's all fun, in it? New chapters, new adventures await. <laughs> Let's make the best of today anyway. Now, if I won the lottery, I would buy this place. It's absolutely beautiful. I'd put my mum and dad in it and I'd have a mooring right outside. So I'm heading now towards Bosley Locks. I helped Narrowboat Will up them the other day. He's such a lovely guy he is from the YouTube channel Narrowboat Will. It's my turn today. Let's crack on, it's a beautiful day. So yes, all's good. <laughs> Just a quick shout out to my new Patreon, Steve. Welcome aboard, mate. So I'm just at my first lock now. Jackie said she was going to park at the top and work her way down to meet me. So I'll start off on my own and catch her up. And yeah, I think there's a boat coming down actually. There's somebody stood up here anyway. Woohoo, maybe that's happening, that's great. So this is my first lock now and there's a boat just further up and they're coming this way. So there's no point me turning this lock round on them. I might as well just wait, save some water. I'm going to give them a hand now, see if they need any help. But this uh, would be fantastic because that means then that every lock is set for me, all in my favour. And that, for a single hander or for any boater really, when all the locks are all set for you, oh, it's heaven. Jacks has made it to us, so it's going to be really quick now this, we're going to smash it, I tell you, because two boats coming down, so they're all going to be set in my favour, woohoo, now I celebrate with the shots, but I'm not going to be hip flat, because I'm doing the locks, but you can have a shot, have a shot for me guys, we've passed the moving boat, the guy coming out the lock, and we've gone into a lock mouth, so that's two shots, so go on, say cheers, can I hear you, cheers. Can leave these gates open and the smoke's coming down in this lock so yeah and then hopefully they'll all be set for us but you never know So I love these locks because I love the massive big bricks and you can't beat a big one. However, um, when I was on the Rochdale last year, through, um, year before actually, through Hebden Bridge and Salby Bridge that way, I got stuck in a lock and let me tell you this, right, I nearly lost my boat. So what happened was, it was a wide lock and one of these stones had slid out slightly and my gunnel, which is the bit on my boat which I'll show you now, it got stuck under and as the water was raising it was pinning the boat down so the boat ended up right virtually on its side it was oh so stressful it nearly tipped over oh, i'm sorry i'm just doing this and eventually i was screaming and a guy ran at the boat i didn't have the strength and he ran at the boat and pushed the boat and the boat went bum, 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 and, and uprighted itself but Oh, my heart was in my mouth and when I went inside afterwards, the boat was an absolute bomb site. Everything had come out the cupboards, off the sides, it was, that's my scariest thing on a boat. But yeah, so one of them, 
So, yeah, so be careful. Obviously, that was a maintenance issue, but you do need to be really careful on the locks. You often see these on locks and they're called stop planks and they use them to block off the water if they need to dam a certain area and do maintenance. And you see these grid things, sometimes when you open a paddle there's a big build up of water and it shoots up and wets your new new. Cheers. So this is a really leaky one now, look at this. Not even opened the paddles yet and it's already filling the lock. What a gorgeous day, eh? Absolutely beautiful today. You can feel that biting in the air, but still the sun's quite warm, it warms you up a little bit. Oh, I love it, I love it. My boat's covered in mud, I need to give it a good clean when I get a chance. now how I get onto the bank. I use one of these pull down things, I'm not sure what they're called, they're like a little step, but it just gives you enough height to climb onto the roof and then I climb onto the bank very elegantly. <laughs> not. So Jackie's gone on ahead to get all the gates open and set the locks, so I just finished my own locks off. I'm used to single handing so having the extra pair of hands just setting the locks for me makes everything a lot quicker. So that's the little system we've got going today. I do get loads of questions about how you do locks on your own. I am no expert at all. I'm just showing you how I do them. This is sort of my way. But I'll show you now how I actually close a lock gate. So I'll just come out the lock quite slowly, put it into reverse just to slow me right down, because obviously that breaks. And then once I'm sort of level with the end of the gate, then I sort of climb off and shut it. Because there were two boats coming down, we thought all the locks would be set for us, but because a lot of them do have leaky gates, they have been sort of half filling, so that's why Jackie had to go ahead. So this is another really leaky one now, very moist. Yes. So uh, mine's fine, my front is enclosed. I had it steeled over the top of my tug deck. So it's okay really with mine, but you just gotta be careful if you've got an open bow, because all that water can gush right through and there's nothing worse than a big gusher. It can be quite dangerous, yes. Now, I don't know if you can see here, but I'm absolutely stuck. I've just come out the lock because I shut my own gates. So my boat drifted a little bit to the lock landing where you should normally be able to moor so you can shut your own gates or set your lock. But wow, I was stuck fast and I'm having to reverse forward. I'm trying everything to get off this silt. I think it's silt, but there's also something grinding. So I don't know if there's a, a rock underneath, but wow, I was absolutely stuck fast. Now I am deep drafted, but another boat that I was speaking to is only two foot six and he said to watch this lock, he was stuck there. So yeah, just a, a nightmare. You can't use a lot landings around here. The lot landings are so shallow, it's awful. But with a bit of 
faffing, reversing, forwards, pulling, pushing. I did manage to get myself off. Way So uh, all was good. So four years ago, I complained to the Canal and River Trust about the lot landings at Bosley because I was single handed it then and I couldn't get into hardly any of the lot landings because they're just, there's all like broken brick and silt and just a mess. And uh, I complained then and it was, apparently it was on their list of maintenance. But it hasn't been done because just then when I came out of that lock and I shut my own gates, we boat grounded straight away and I couldn't get off it. And in the end, my boat was tilting really bad. I don't know if it's showing it very well on camera, but I've just had to run in now and check everything because you couple doors fly open and stuff like that. I hate it. I hate it. It's just simple things. If the maintenance happened, it wouldn't be so stressful. Hmm. Yes, you see. Anyway, it's a beautiful day. Everything's good. You just have to remember with this flight to go from lock to lock and not try and get on a lock landing. It makes it a little bit more hard work if you are single-handed. But yeah, that's the only way to do it, I'm afraid. I reckon that Bosley is one of the prettiest lock flights on the system absolutely gorgeous You'll find on some lock flights or certain locks that the gates just open on their own. I've shut this one once and I have to go back and do it again. And as I'm shutting it, the other one then starts to, to open. And it's just what happens. I think it's when there's lots and lots of water. And you'll find sometimes when you get to locks, the gates are open and it's not that somebody's left them. It's just because there's so much water, they just swing open on their own. Joy's a boat in. So Jack, you're gonna miss this. Hey! I'll be back! <laughs> I'll be back! Yeah, there is. So this is what we're saying about the lot landings is you can't get into them because it's all collapsed and all that stonework that's collapsed you can't see it's under the water so even now I'm scraping along the bottom of it being this far from the bank because it's all fallen away so it's not ideal. But it is so beautiful. I mean look at that. So it's the last lock of the day now coming up and uh, they've got services on this lock, toilet and all that sort of stuff so we've got a boat behind so I've got to try and get the toilet done really quickly and then move on to the water point whilst I'm in the lock I'm going to pass it up and try and get that emptied and then move to the water point. So it does worry me a little bit about the unevenness of this stonework, similar to what happened to me on the Rochdale, although it was a protruding brick. But they are quite uneven and you could easily still get part of your boat or your gunnel stuck under one of these. So if you are doing this flat guys, just be careful. So we're just filling up with water now, I've done the cassettes, enter the rubbish and then I'm going to find somewhere to moor because mum and dad are coming to visit, have a brew and that. So Jax, you're going to miss this live? Yeah. Miss emptying that Elson. <laughs> so all the water's filled up now and uh, ready now to go and get somewhere nice and moored. Mum and Dad have just met me, they've come on board the inside making a brew. So when I've moored up I'll have a nice hot brew and uh, get nice and cosy, that'll be nice. Just going to moor past all these moor boats. These are permanent moorings here and then uh, everything will be good. Stay there for a few days. Pudding's had a hectic day, haven't you, Pudding? Oh, I love drinking. I really do. I just love it. <laughs> it's my favourite hobby. Um, so that's Bosley Locks done. 
uh, done and dusted, but an absolutely beautiful lock flight, absolutely stunning. Obviously, it's got its problems, a bit of lack of maintenance. Them lock landings are a right nightmare, but if you go lock to lock, you're all right. So absolutely beautiful. So on the main part of the Mac now, and it's just gorgeous. I love this canal. And I'm slowly heading now towards the Peak Forest. So I really do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a like, subscribe and all that malarkey. Press the bell end if you want to get notifications when I release a new one. But yeah, so I'll see you next time. But before I go, a big shout out to this week's pirate crew. Oh, and here they are, me hearties. And we've got the lovely Ralph Wood, Fishless Clive, Alan Harbit, David Van Wart, Eileen Dover. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Love that one. Stephen Brody, Lucia and Dave H. Massive thank you, guys. And also a massive shout out to my patrons who help me behind the scenes, give me loads of advice and support. So thank you so much, guys. I love you all. Anyway, I'll see you all next week. Take care and stay safe.